Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, well, I'm with the birthday boy. I'm with Bob Riggle. Bob, good to see you. Thank you very much. Now, if people don't know what Bob does or who he is, and maybe you're a little younger, like my son, uh, Bob, tell them what you do with your car. Basically, uh, I've been with Hearst for all those years, and uh, we have a car called a Hearst Hemi under glass. It's a Barracuda <laughs> with a Hemi, supercharged Hemi in the back. And we do wheel stands down a full quarter mile at 130 miles an hour. <laughs> and you've been doing this since what year? 1965. 1965. The man, the wheel standing king, Bob Riggle. So with that being said, Bob, let's take a look at the Hemi under glass. Come on right alongside me. Okay, you bet. So now this is the same car. Obviously, it's got a little infamous note. Just recently, what happened to this car? Well, in February uh, 2016, uh, we did a show at uh, Irwindale Raceway with Jay Leno and I. And uh, we did an interview and so forth and so on. And then he wanted to take a ride. I said, okay, let's get in and we'll he, take a ride. He called it his bucket list. His bucket list, exactly. And what we did is we went out in the middle of this oval track, which was kind of rough, you know, and had some drain holes. But anyhow, we made a pass as I set it down it hit a, a bump and started bouncing because there's no suspension. You're bouncing off the tires like a basketball. So we were heading for the wall. If you watch the video, you'll see at the very end a great big utility tire and the wall. So I thought, I got to spin it out because if we hit that, we may get killed. Sure. You know? So I spun it out. The tire rolled under, the, the rim caught, and then we took a trip. And uh, <laughs> we landed on all four wheels. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I turned to Jay. I said, you all right? And he goes, yeah. He said, I'm fine. So I shut the mag off and the fuel and we got out and kind of looked over everything and I said, are you all right? Because I wanted to give him a big hug. You don't hurt somebody like that. Yeah. You know? But anyhow, it worked out. Neither one of us got hurt, but it hit the, you know, he called me on Tuesday, on the Wednesday that it was going to show. Right. And we already had 4.2 million hits on it then. <laughs> so congratulations on a great oh, yeah. video. And then it came on TV on Wednesday. I cannot tell you how many times he showed that on his show. A lot of times he'll start to show, he'll he'll show the car running and then he'll split to what he's having on that day. <laughs> so he's kind of made you a hero. Oh yeah, he I, did. I, I, this new one. As if, as if any hero was needed when you have the Hemi under glass. First of all, thank you so much for inspiring. Come on with me. Thank you so much for inspiring us with this full-size Hot Wheel that you've been driving for so many years. And by the way, the car looks fantastic. What, what did you have to redo with it? Well, actually what I did is I put a whole back half on it. Okay, it show started me. up here. We cut the uh, post off here okay. because the top is already junk. So cut it off here. Mm -hmm. And then I got a donor car, which I have a picture of. And then I, what I did then is I went down here and this was all soldered in the leg of the back. So I cut that out and then the quarter panel, and then we put the whole back half. And on. let me sh let me show the inside. So we've got this pan here, and the and we do have a firewall. Oh yeah, you have to have that. have to have that. Let me just show you what Bob sees. There, so there's you know, one big pad. Here's our roll bar, which actually saved you guys. Yes, it did. And here, and you see the steering brake right there in the middle, and silver handle, a chrome handle or aluminum handle. That's a fuel shut off. And that's there, the handle right there below your now, now that's interesting. That's how you actually see the I ground. See out through that hole, I look right between the the, uh, the axle and the ground. And you can see the see what's happening. Absolutely. So that's the secret. That's the secret of getting down the quarter mile without let's, getting the guardrail. Let's take a look at this. And we're going to hear this start today. Yeah, in just a few minutes. In just a few minutes. I'm being sincere. Do you have any hearing problems from something like this? Huh? I mean, this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. I that when somebody asked me that. Because <laughs> this thing has got to be incredibly loud. Yeah, but you know, the thing of it is, is that I want to hear what the motor's doing. Yes. So I don't wear earplugs. I wear just a full face helmet. Just a full face helmet. Yeah, and I can basically hear when I need to shift and that kind of thing. Gotcha. But it's you, all plugged up. You want to be part of the, part of the car. So exactly. everything under here is just lightweight. Let's, yeah, let's, cage. let's roll and go. Yep. So all light, let's show the front of the car. You know what, let's show the side because the side is so iconic. How many people have seen that side over the years? Yes, sir. And I, I, it is your birthday today. 
Yeah, and that's how, how old are you then? 83. 83. And 83 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Loving every minute of it. And still pulling wheelies. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. All right, let me do this. Wonderful. Now, what are these? Obviously, they're not headlights, but what are they? Uh, aluminum Those are hubcaps. Alu they're yeah. hubcaps. Yeah, they're for lawnmowers, and they're just the right size, to, uh, you know, to put for in placement of headlights. What other parts to this car do I need to know about that other people wouldn't know? You've got hubcaps from lawnmowers. Let me get this hook here. Yeah. You know, let me get this signatures. There's okay. you, and there's Jay Leno. Exactly. So we're seeing the rarely seen under the hood of the Hemi under glass. Car is all steel. There's no fiberglass in it at all. Really? It weighs 3,900 pounds. 3,900 pounds is kind of a lot of weight for a car. Well, it is, but the thing of it is, for what we were using it for, Earlier years, like in 1967, I had a one-piece fiberglass nose mm -hmm. put in everything and two fiberglass doors. And it worked out really well, but to fasten that fiberglass to the front, it took a lot of bracing and so forth because if you come down too high, it would want to try to break loose. It never did, but this is a much better deal because you got all the weight distributed out through the car. You know, a lot of guys will say, yeah, it should do a wheelie. It's, it's heavy. It's not... It's not light, it's, but it's light in the front. But it's light in the front, and uh, so a couple guys down in uh, West Virginia said, "Well, it should do a wheelie. It don't have no motor in the front." So I had them get in a corner of the bumper, yeah, and then on this side here, and I told them, now in front of everybody, I said, "I want you to pick it up and show them how light it is," and here's how much they got done. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah it's not, it's, it's you not can't light at all. You yeah. know, it's a 60-40 deal. Yeah. 60 rear, 40, you know, on the front. Heavier than you'd think is the oh, point. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you this question. When you're doing a wheelie in front of a crowd, what's that do for you? Oh, it's everything. Uh, it's everything. When I when I clear that, you know, quarter mile and down to the other end, I set it down, I, I thank the Lord. The first thing I do, and I go, great, great run, you know. <laughs> and the fire know. crew always comes, they wave as I come at the other end, you know. So it's, it's a thrilling deal all the way around. What so. a wonderful, wonderful time. And I know that people will enjoy this video. Let's take a look at the back, shall we? We'll put that down. You want to put it down now? Yeah. That was great to see what that's like, and, and I'm surprised that it's that heavy. I'm just going, some of your sponsors here. Yes, sir. There's Summit Racing. Mr. Gasket, yeah. Krager. How long have some of these sponsors been with you, Bob? Have been with me uh, almost the entire time, except for uh, Summit come on later. Uh, ANA transmission came uh, along when uh, uh, the other transmission guy sold out. And, uh, so, but uh, pretty much, you know, it, it, Esky's been with me from the very beginning. From the beginning. Class, come on, come on with me here. So, and yeah, obviously, they, they, now, how did you get connected with Hearst? It's a real strange story. Uh, I, I don't want to bother you with that, but I met him at Indy. Uh, I was having dinner, and uh, uh, Jack Duffy came over, Yeah. and uh, he said, uh, he introduced himself, and he asked me what I did, and I said, well, I work on cars and build motors and that for people, and he said, what would you think about going to work for Hearst? And I said, man, that'd be a lifetime job, I'd just love that, and he said, well, give me your phone number, and I'll give it to Jack Watson, and uh, in a week or so, after things settle down, call him and, and see if he needs somebody up there. So the first time I called, uh, he, he didn't need anybody, you know. So I waited about another two weeks. I called him up, and he said, come up and have an interview. So I went up, and uh, Dave Landreth and him interviewed me, and he said, hey, you're hired. You know, can you start next Monday? And I said, absolutely. And that's how I got, you know, to do it. And then we built the uh, car called the Harry Olds. You remember that? Dual engine 442. So it was like a silhouette, or was it like... No, a... it was a four, all four-wheel smoking car. Wow. Yeah, it was quite a deal. Paul Phelps and I built it, and Ray Sister did the engines, and Joe Schubeck drove it for Hearst. So. When did you first do your first wheelie? 
Uh, March of 1966. Do you remember it? Oh, absolutely, because I was try I never drove it before. I never drove it from here into that building. I'm guessing you didn't have glass in the front like you do now. In no, the I didn't have glass in so it until 1972. So you just stood up on the, on the front end and just kept rolling. Yeah, but I looked out the window. If you look at the videos, you'll see me looking out the... I'm watching the white line as I'm going <laughs> down the track. Pavement. Let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. So what are you doing right now? You turn the fuel on? Power on. Okay, yeah, take me through it. First thing we'll do is bring up the oil pressure. Okay, how do we do this? That'll take a little bit, and at the same time, we're priming the fuel injection. Boy, it got dusty. So once we get that up, then we'll go ahead and hit the mag and fire it. Fire it up. Yep. Rebrace yourself. Shut the door. Thank you for the interview. Uh, thank you for the little wheel stand in the parking lot as well. <laughs> a baby boy just to give people. Right. What a treat. Anything I need to know before we, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks for being on my car story. I hope people subscribe to the channel because they like what they see. Anything else I need to know? No, just, you know, I just meet so many nice people in this business and uh, what an opportunity I have uh, when George Hurst hired me to come to this, you know, uh, his business, you know, and do R&D and build the cars and that kind of thing. It's just been, it's something that you dream of is when you're a kid, you know, always want to work on cars, always wanted to work with a big name, but never would I ever thought that I would have been with Hearst, you know, all these years. So. What a, great. what a wonderful treat. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. I look forward to seeing what the subscribers think. Well, listen, thank you very much, and say hi to everybody for me. Thanks, Bob. Bye-bye.